What's up everyone, Sir on left and bottom is the first here, and we are back in Alan Wake. Uh, I know we were right in front of the door, but I tried to start recording it, and I'm, again, suffering issues. It really, really annoys me. Uh, so let's just try to get in, and hopefully no more problems happen, and... Those aren't good sounds. Alright. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing crazy. my mind? See, I'm, I've played the game before. You, you kind of understand after a while, but... But I mean, yeah, you're kind of crazy. Uh, oh, phone. Here we go. Right ball, sheriff station. Cool. Guess who's gonna get blamed for it? This guy. Oh, thank God, sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are. I'm Alan Wake. But listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Yeah, cool. Mr. Yeah. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. Yeah. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Because going crazy. Cuckoo, bonkers, fruity, batty, all that good jazz. Make yourself seem even crazier, dude. So just report a missing person. Bam, bam, bam. Out of wink. A candy colored clown they call the Sandman. Tiptoes to my room every night. Oh dear. Just to sprinkle stardust and to whisper, go to sleep. Previously yeah. on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? Kaplunk. I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Good summary. Good summary. Three years ago, was it? Right. Said he hadn't wor worked on a Honey, book until two. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. Well, good. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. See, you don't seem as much of a douchebag now. Coffee's on. Great. Thanks. I'll need it. I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Okay, let's go back to Alice then. Happy to help with the coffee. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No Ooh. kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Well, thank you. These look really good. Neat. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last. Mm, nah, it's no need for these. Time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan, Alan, please 
check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm it's on okay. it, honey. Take Please deep hurry. breaths. Deep breaths. There we go. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? Hi. I'm sorry. I just. It just really spooked me. Don't Not that worry. I don't care, but I need to. We'll just service. break out the candles. Bow, wow, wow, wow. I know it's stupid, but it's just especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. It's okay, everyone has a phobia. You. Not everyone, but everyone has Tell me scared a story, of. Writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Yep. It's not that bad weather wise. I mean, it's not the best thing ever, but. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? <laughs> um. Terrific! I'm okay, my head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks, Docs. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets Ooh, any fish. worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Thank you. Very helpful and kind to me. Okay. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh, thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? Ooh. My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me Did up. Just say I want. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey, of course, Mr. Wake. Hey, you can get there through hey, the cell corridor. Mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The, light the early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Oh. But first... Thermos! Hey, well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off. Hey aww. This is a little bit dramatic, don't you think? Manuscript page. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, 
I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here. Here Oh, thanks, Barry. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Yep. Okay. What's this? On the pages everywhere. I just... I don't want to keep reading them all because... A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Oh, come on. Nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's Got a it. long, hard job. Marvelous, sir. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little... Goodbye. I made it out. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Don't oh, end! Okay. Oh, Take it easy. There it is. Oh. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. Oh, oh dear. I'm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. I forgot how cringy that scene was. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he <laughs> believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had well, a midnight appointment something. with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. God, I love Barry. Mr. Wake! Oh, Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very yeah. nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Right, wait here. Yeah, that was. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, mm -hmm. Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd <laughs> shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? Yeah, it's sure. just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. Wait here. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. Could be a bestseller. Yep. This is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Thank you. Very helpful. Hope the Poochie's feeling better. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. 
Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. Okay. Just want to initialize the cutscene. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry! The killer. This that is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. <laughs> I'm not apologizing for that. Okay. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step Thanks, away, Barry. Al. Locking the door now. Locking the door now. Thanks, Barry. You're always a pleasure. Okay, let's just read this real quick. No, actually. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Cool. Okay. I think this is a good place to stop, don't y'all? I mean, yeah, it, we made some good progress, and we're probably about to go into a redundant state of walk in the woods anyways. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps. It means a lot. And until next time, I've been so real enough in Bottoms the First, and I'll be seeing you.